Hello and welcome to another mod review with me, the Xbox Farmer. The mods I'll be reviewing came out between the 30th of July and the 2nd of August. This first one is actually an update and it's the Toolbox by FendFan79. And it was released on the 1st of August. You can use the toolbox instead of a vehicle shed. And just like a vehicle shed, you can sell or customize or repair any vehicle. I'll just jump in a tractor to demonstrate. So I think you drive relatively near and just click on and you can either, like I say, sell or customize or even repair your vehicle. So in the shop it's under placeables and miscellaneous. It'll, it'll cost you 299 with a slot count of 1. So that's the updated toolbox by FENFAN79LS Agra Service. Next up we have another update, FarmTech Durus 2000. This also came out on the 1st of August and it's by Polycount. The update incorporates a clean log, better wear system and increased volume from 14,100 to 20,000 litres. In the shop then, under trailers, Thirty-four thousand. You can either have a capacity of twenty-eight thousand liters or twenty thousand liters, and that's a slot count of seven. Just having a quick look around it then. Both very tidy mods. Well made. I'll just jump in there. There's a little bit of movement of the tractor on hookup. But as you see, it's a good animation as it tips. Nice, nice all round mod. And that's a FarmTech Turus 2000 by Polycount. Right, next up, the 
it's another update and it's the silage shovel or silage fork by Agrotechnic Nordefell I hope I pronounced that right I do apologise if I haven't so the change log is increased desk version improved weight and price improved animation speed and increased unload speed I believe you can doesn't matter if you unfold it you can still pick stuff up and that's it unfolded and like I said you can still pick still pick up your silage well, even though it's folded I think it's the same amount whether it's folded or not. So let's look in the shop. It'll cost you 10,200 and it'll cost you 5 points. So that's the silage fork by Agrotechnic Nordepal. Right, on to his first new one. It's the Log Holder Pack by Mappers Paradise and this also came out on the 1st of August. It consists of three log packs, or three log holders, and a three bay one. two bear one and a one bear so in the shop under placeables and miscellaneous again We have the small one for 2,200. We have a medium for 3,200. And a large for 4,200. Each one will cost you two points on your slot count. Now these should make it a lot easier using this tool so I always found it hard to get the bottom forks under the logs when they were on the ground so with this actually raising it up off the ground I'm hoping that it's going to make life a lot easier picking up the logs
seems to go in a lot easier. Yeah, that were a lot easier. I don't know how much you can actually stack on there before it starts overflowing. But actually picking them up when they're off the ground is a lot easier. I think this old model coming really handy in forestry. So that's the log holder pack by Mappers Paradise. So next new mod, we have the Lizard Subsoiler 6 meter by Black Sheep Modding. And this came out on the 30th of July. Now it says subsoiler with plough function, but I found it in the plough section. And you can change the colour of the design, which, which changes the colour of the spikes or prongs. And the main colour is the uh, metal frame. So it's 17,000 to buy and a slot count of four. I'll just give it a quick whirl. Catches nicely. And plow away. So that's the lizard subsiler six meters by Black Sheep Modding. very nice simple six meter plow right right next we have Rudolf DK280W trailer also by Agra Technic Nordifel lovely mod but I don't like this axle I can't drive these axles. I can't reverse them. So it's uh, it's like an auger wagon, and we'll find it in trailers. And it'll cost thirty-one thousand five hundred with a slot count of twelve. You can change the main colour to either green or brown. The design colour to either green or yellow. You can design one or design one with warning. Design two or design two with warning. You just put some lines around it. You can either have overload auger or a normal trailer. You have the cover, yes or no. And you've got your wheel or wide wheels, standard or wide wheels. And like I said, 
It's a beautiful looking mod. But I can't reverse these four, Toffee. Attaches nicely. Just put my help window on. So we've got pipe in, pipe out. I like this a little bit. I like the handle moving. To move your, um, your auger pipe up and down. That's brilliant, that. I love that. Like the little crankshaft. Oh god, here we go. I will attempt to have a go at filling this cedar up with seed. I may have to give it up as a bad job. Bear with me. It just won't go where you want it to go. How people deal with this in real life, it's beyond me. Unbelievable. I nearly give up. I don't even know what you call them, I don't know if it's split axle or what, or, but it, it's just horrible. The mod is perfect, and the actual mod looks fantastic. The axle, I can't do it. So then, there was another update, and that was to the horse pack. Uh, they've fixed the skinning from Drag Horse 36, they've added new vehicles, uh, a Flegel DHKA 390 and a trail lifter. Wheels from Titan 34 UW gets visible after a few meters. Maestro SW2475 is sliding in detached state automatically. The Serto 125C is sliding in detached state automatically. And the Leap PT350 decreased turning radius and increased turning speed. So that's it. That's the mod review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe for more videos and as always, thanks for watching, goodbye.